Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taste of whiskey.com and today we have another premier barrel from the independent bottler Douglas Lang. It's from the distillery Craig Lachey. It's eight years of age, strong 46% ABV and costs in the mid 60s. These bottles, as I told you a week ago, I think, are replica bottles from the 18th century before the glass bottle was yeah, industrially introduced into the market. So there were those stone jugs and flasks and bottles away only available or the whiskey was well delivered by small casks. And here they go the way back uh, to the 18th century. This is a single cask and is limited to 434 bottles. And there is a wonderful rhyme uh, in front here on the label. Um, I have to read that. Cricke, what a cracking coronet of cunningly crafted Craiglachy, whose credentials are copiously cramped with crumbly cake and creamy connotations sample its substantial swirls of seductive syrup and supportive supplementary sweet spices with a handsome heritage of homeless herbs and hedonistic honey. No homebook. <laughs> yeah, I like those rhymes and uh, hopefully I like this whiskey as well. It might be not that easy to find this bottle because uh, Douglas Lang is an independent bottler and not everywhere available. These bottles had been on the market for a long, long time, but in the start, so a decade ago or even longer, there had been problems with the cork. And this were corrected in the last years and have you felt how tight it was, there was an overpressure in it. So now that is completely gone. Heritage of Honeyly Herbs. <laughs> yeah, so the finish is excellent. I cannot complain about anything. So Craig Lachey is a Speyside distillery, a part or was part of the White Horse distillers produced for big, big brands and still has uh, very few single malt whiskies on the market itself. So these independent bottles are very important for the market. And Kegelachi produces with warm tubs. And in these warm tubs, you have very few contact with copper for condensing the alcohol vapors. And this few contact with the copper uh, results in a heavy spirit. Some say there's sulfur to uh, feel in. Um, I would suggest that comes from probably some sherry cask where the sulfur was used for disinfection of the casks for the transport. Um, but there is more intensity in the spirit, in the distillery character itself due to this warm tubs. Yeah, intense herbs. Sweet note, honey, creamy crumble, curiosity. Yeah, this is a intense smell together with a 46% ABV, not too old, eight years of age. So there's still vibrant velocity in this whiskey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Wow, that hits. Oh, massive mouth watering. Completely cladding your mouth. This feels like 60% ABV, not like 46. It's not burning, so it's 46. It's no mistake, but the intensity, the character, massive, massive, incredible. Yeah. Wow. Mm. 
Mhm. The impact is really strong. Sweat on my bald head. Yeah. So this is incredibly good. Yeah, I like it. I like it very much. You have a burning in your mouth afterwards. This is a strong one. If you have the chance to get your fingers on such a cask of Keglachi, do so. It's worth the money. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.